Boom. All right, so just an update on the EZ4. I haven't made a video in a while, but this one was worth making. I had the EZ4 converted from drums to brakes. And I'll tell you why and I'll tell you how much. So let me start over here. They had to put a pump on here um, because brake fluid is in that. And brake fluid is what's running the brakes now. It's not. It, it's an electric pump. And it gets electricity from when you hit the brake from your brake controller. But this whole setup, it cost me uh, $2,800 $2, for the setup for all six disc brakes, the pads. Um, then installation cost me another 800 bucks. It's a lot of money, but it was worth it. So uh, it, this thing is stopping like on a dime. It's gonna save me brakes on the truck and it's gonna be easier to change the brake pads. So I'll show you what's going on back here. Also, the brakes work in reverse. With the electric brakes, it's magnetized. So only when the wheel is spinning a certain way, that's when the magnet grabs the drum and it clamps the, the brakes. Um, but they wouldn't work in reverse because the magnet didn't go both ways. Uh, if you know about drum brakes, you understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, here's the disc brakes. Um, so much easier. So when I go to change the brakes now, these are GM brake pads. Uh, when I go to change the brakes, I just take loose the caliper right here. There's two bolts. Take it loose pop in the pads and I'm done. I also had to use a billet spacer because on the Kaufman's, on the easy fours, when you get these, the actual uh, caliper will hit the back of the rim. So make sure you get a spacer with it. I mean, this isn't a very big spacer and uh, everything will be fine. But uh, man, what a difference. I mean, I have it put on three and I feel the trailer grabbing. If you know anything about drum brakes, or if you have one of these trailers, even a Mini 5, Mini 5 is the same setup. The pad, there's this much pad on there for drums, if that much. And I was going through them every three months, I'd feel the brakes, not even three months, two months would go by, and I'd feel myself having to turn up the controller. So instead of it being on three, then I was putting it on four, then five. Next thing you know, I'm at six and seven, and I don't even have any weight on here. You check the brakes, they're worn all the way down. And if you know anything about drums, it's a pain in the ass to change them. To change the drums, I had to take off the, the axle nut, pull the bearings out, pull the whole assembly off, unbolt the back, the whole backing plate, and then hope that my uh, drum wasn't messed up because then that would have to be replaced too. So I'd have to replace the backing plate the, that comes with the pads, the drums, plus the, uh, the drum. That shit was a pain in the ass. They didn't stop very well. I mean, these things are easy. I can have this changed in five minutes, if that, if that long. Take out two bolts, boom, it's just like a car. They also don't heat up as much as the drums, and they also work better in uh, rain and sleet and snow and whatever. So it's a lot of money to change, but it's worth the investment if you want to stop. Because this is a lot of weight that you're going down the street with. So um, it took me a while. I mean, I've had this trailer for years. But I finally had to, I, I got tired of uh, changing the drums out every three months. The amount of time that it's going to save me um, and headache, it's worth the money. So in the long run, this is the best thing I could have ever did for this trailer. I had no issues out of this trailer. If you notice from my other videos, I always talk about how the only weakness is the triple axle. Um, as far as the trailer goes, everything's great. But I always had problems with the drums or... Um, you know, breaking a bearing if I was turning, you know, making a U-turn with weight on it. But um, this is the best thing I could have did. So remember, $2,800 for the kit. Cost me another 800 to put it on, or someone can put it on for you. And if you look in here, you'll see how they ran the, uh, the brake lines. So now I'm using brake hoses instead of electrical lines. So these are Kodiak, this is a Kodiak brake kit. The guy's name is Bob, really nice guy. Took the time to talk to me and, and took care of me over the phone. Um, he didn't charge me a dime until the brakes were actually in my possession. So I gave him my credit card number and stuff like that. Um, there was a little backward on the brakes. 
when they got here is when he took the money off of it. So I wasn't, I didn't tie up that money and was sitting around waiting for my stuff. So make sure you got the right brake controller also. I have a Kurt Discovery brake controller. If you put the wrong controller on that pump, you can burn that pump up. And that pump was $1,600, I'm told. So, you know, also the pump only takes brake fluid. And uh, best decision I could have ever made. Brake line, brake hose goes all the way down the side of the trailer. Go into, uh, go into all the wheels. But this is the easiest trailer to deal with. I've had a Mini 5. I hated that trailer. Took too long to load. Took too long to unload. I fell off of it. This one is quick. Everything's right on the outside. I don't have to climb out the window to get in and out of a vehicle with this trailer. So if you have the means, it's worth the investment. Hit the like button and subscribe. Get those disc brakes on your trailers, fellas, so y'all can stop. So uh, insurance, stop having an excuse to run our fucking, you know, shit up. Um, you know, you get in accidents, you run into people because you can't stop. I've ran through red lights. Um, my truck would lock up. <laughs> it would be raining, red light. I'd hit the brakes, all my wheels on the truck would lock up. My trailer was still moving with those funky ass drum brakes. So now I'm not gonna have to worry about that. So anyway, like I said, hit that like button up, subscribe. Y'all take care. I appreciate all the love from everybody. Peace out. Boom.